Hey everyone, Dyworm here with the top 5 comments of the week on Discord. It's fun to read all the feedback and I'm not trying to do Sasha's job of course, but picking out the best ideas and discussing them seems like a good concept for a video. Also, I would really like to thank all of you for watching my pagan online videos and subscribing to the channel. It's really cool to see that the videos are doing so well and that you're enjoying them. So thank you. Let's move on to the top 5 comments I picked in no particular order. Number 5, Professor Dr. Meister says, can we please have a function to dismantle items for mass thanks? Professor Meister isn't the only one saying this. I've seen this comment an awful lot and you know what, you guys are right. Farming crafting materials is just not fun and this would really be a good alternative to getting more crafting materials. So great suggestion and an easy and clean solution too. Changing something like this is a significant alteration in design and I think it's not something that is easily implemented. However, it would make perfect sense to have Pagan Online get more of a crafting material economy with items broken down into components. I think Path Exile has done a great job in that regard and hopefully the developers are considering also putting something similar in Pagan Online. Number 4. Quiet says, respec, please, or just give players free choice what they want to use right now with current build. Yes. Even though there's a complete new skill tree coming up, it would be so nice if you can do a quick respec to see what the other passives do and how they play. I'm still regretting not getting the larger version of the E ability on Lucian, but alas there's no way to revert it and I think that is a real shame. I would be fine with the respec costing some materials, I really don't mind, that is perfectly fair. I prefer it to cost gold though, so I can spend my gold on something, but yeah, that's another topic I guess. Number 3. Please add a pop up before selling a legendary, I just accidentally clicked it and it sold. I'm pretty irked at the moment. I get that. I've had this as well. Multiple times, actually. Thinking I'm right clicking to put something in the crafting box, while in reality control plus right clicking, selling it into oblivion. There's also no buyback option as of now, so this stuff really hurts. So yeah, pop-ups for things like these, and I think for crafting recipes as well, would be great. There's of course also a limit as to how many pop-ups and the checks you want to do. I mean, you don't want Pagan to start behaving like Windows. However, selling something or clicking something that is irreversible can really do with a warning up front. Great suggestion and super easy to implement I think. Number 2. Let us mark gear as trash and add a sell trash button. Yeah, I would love this. Something like a mark as trash or mark as junk option would really help a lot I think. Not only does it make selling easier, it also nicely cleans up the inventory. In the future I hope we can deconstruct items as well, also see comment number 5. And this way it would be great to be able to deconstruct all trash. It's pretty standard functionality as well with for example the Division 2 having this. Totally different game, sure, but still a looter game where inventory management is a decent part and rather important. They implemented it very nicely and something like that is what Pagan Online definitely needs. Number 1. Either remove big instant kills or make an improvement on the mechanics. I mean, bloody hell, those pigs are a mess. Imagine doing a master difficulty mission, seeing that pig and already knowing you're about to die because there's just no way to dish out enough damage on master difficulty to beat all the enemies in the timer limit, which is only 80 seconds by the way. So I couldn't agree more with this comment, a flying pig needs changes. Oh, and change the pace at which he speaks as well. I mean, I get the design, he is truly and utterly annoying and the devs did a great job there, but it's just too much guys. I would like this mechanic to offer a reward, rather than executing me instantly, completely ruining my run. The new pig could work something like this. If you manage to kill all the enemies in the timer, great, you get a reward. And if you don't, the pig just flies away or something. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, it would. And with that we conclude the top 5 of this week everybody. Next week 5 more comments to discuss. Thanks all for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.